All right, well today I want to Christmas decorate and declutter and share my best tip um, for decluttering your Christmas stuff. I have never had this happen. I was trying to just like do up the dishes quick, get them out of the kitchen so we can decorate it and have it look so nice. And the sink is totally backed up. It, it, it's not like it got slow over time or anything. So now I gotta figure out what is going on here, but we're still gonna decorate it too. We'll get the kitchen cleaned up, decorated, decorate the whole house for Christmas. And like I said, I think there's one question I can ask you that's gonna help you know exactly how much of your Christmas decor you should declutter this year. So like I said, I'm just very confused as to what is going on here. Like, did something go down it? Because like, it wasn't even slow and it's just like all of a sudden. And I'm very careful. So this happened to my friend Virginia uh, Kerr lately. She helps people like build their social media channels. She's brilliant, by the way, um, if you wanna check her out. She had this happen recently, but she kind of put meat grease down her drain. So I didn't do that. <laughs> so. I, was, I just, I have no idea what's going on and Tom's not home right now. So um, I think we're just gonna deal with that later. And it just kind of bums me out because when you decorate for Christmas, you want the house to be clean and look pretty when you're done. Okay, so what I'm gonna do first is just sort out all of my Christmas stuff on the island here, just get it organized. And then while I'm doing that, I can ask you the one question that I think is gonna bring so much clarity <laughs> to your holiday decor. So here's my question for you. If you had to use this gauge to rate how your Christmas decor and holiday decor makes you feel, how would you rate yourself? So the green is when I look at my holiday decor, when I pull out all the bins for it, it's just the right amount for me. I'm excited to decorate. I really enjoy it. And it doesn't, it doesn't actually feel stressful to me. Then we have somewhere in the middle where it's a little bit stressful. You know, it's a little messy to get everything pulled out. There's definitely stuff that I'm not using anymore. And then the red would be, oh my goodness, I am just overwhelmed by it. I don't know where to start with simplifying it. And it kind of just makes me not even want to decorate for Christmas because it's so much stuff to manage. So that's what I would ask you is like, where do you fall on that scale? For me, I am in the green because I know myself <laughs> and I know I can only manage one bin plus a canvas tote of a Christmas decor. And in the past, I, that it made me kind of sad because I grew up in a house where my mom loves to decorate for Christmas. She still does. And I love her house decorated for Christmas. I love going there. I love how it feels. And so to me, it just... I just thought I would have a lot of Christmas stuff too. And then I realized that it was very stressful to me. And especially when our kids were little and I felt like I had to like protect the nice stuff. And then a lot of stuff I didn't even put out because they, it was too fragile for them. And then I'm just storing this stuff I'm not using. And it was just so much to manage and I didn't enjoy it. And so for me right now in this season, for me to stay in the green, it's one bin and one canvas tote thing. And once I just accepted that and was like, okay, that's the season I'm in right now. I love, like I look forward now today, like pulling out the Christmas stuff and decorating. And so it it can feel limiting, but it's actually very freeing to recognize where, I, where I'm actually at and what amount is manageable. So then how can we translate that into how we declutter? Well, I would highly encourage you to decorate your house for Christmas this year and use your favorite pieces, the pieces you know for sure that like stand the test of time that you always wanna put out and then look at what's left. And let's really consider donating what's left. And the concern can be like, but Dawn, what if in the future, I have more bandwidth, I have more energy, I'm in a different season. <laughs> Those are like all the words we use to describe where we're at. Um, what if I have more space for this? Like, am I gonna regret getting rid of that stuff? And what I would tell you is, isn't it funny that we just never seem to have more time, energy, bandwidth, whatever in the next season? It just so infrequently actually comes, right? And so I think what you can manage today is gonna to be the same amount that you're gonna be able to manage in the, in the future. So I think if you would decorate your house, look at what's left, and then keep in mind where you're at on this gauge, it could make it easier to part with it. So as we get into the video though, I will talk a little bit more about like, but what if you have really special stuff, sentimental stuff, stuff you've inherited or it's been passed down, what do we do with that? So we can talk more about that as we go on as well. Okay, so Maggie and I got everything sorted out here. Oh, <laughs> cute Megs. We have our props where we play like minute to win it games and stuff too. So um, now we can actually start decorating, which will be fun. Okay, so I read a couple things online that we can try with the sink. I'm gonna try putting some boiling water down. So if it's something that's like 
greasy, it'll help break it up. I don't know. All right, so I put two pots of boiling water down and that didn't do anything. And so next we're gonna try, um, it says a cup of baking soda, baking powder. What is it, Adeline? Baking soda. Baking soda, a cup of baking soda and a cup of vinegar. So we're gonna put that down. Uh, the only thing I was finding as I was doing this, it's kind of hard to get the baking soda down the drain without some kind of liquid. So then you pour the vinegar on and then you're getting the reaction and it's not like it took, I don't know, it took a little bit to get it to actually go down the drain. Um, it, it was interesting to watch. There is a lot going on, but um, yeah, it still doesn't seem like it's done anything. So uh, I just don't even know. We have like Drano, but I don't want to use that if we don't have to. I'm trying to think, I can't find a plunger. I don't know. When we moved in, Tom put in like all new toilets. Most of the plumbing's been replaced. And so we just haven't really had any plumbing issues. So I'm like, I feel like we should have a plunger. Doesn't everyone have a plunger in their house? But I can't find one. And so, I mean, that would maybe be helpful, but you'd have to have one. So, I don't know. So we just keep decorating and don't, and we just don't think about this <laughs> for right now. <laughs> Now, when it comes to the bedroom, I don't decorate in here. Do you decorate your bedroom? I think it would be fun maybe someday to like decorate a little or have some Christmas pillows, <laughs> right? Um, but as for now, again, if I'm trying to keep it like in the green, like of enjoying decorating and not feel, feeling overwhelmed by it, I don't wanna manage extra inventory to decorate our bedroom and no one else sees it. Well, you, you see it, like you would see it, but no one else actually ever sees our bedroom decorated, so. But here's another question for you. How did you sleep last night? So my friend Cindy just got her own Helix mattress. Now, I'm always nervous. Like I've said this before, when someone I know gets their own Helix mattress because we've had such a great experience with it and we tell you often how much we love our mattress. And so if you get one, I want you to love it as much, right? And so we've had a great experience. We got one for my grandma. Um, oh, that was, that was actually going on a year ago. She still loves it. Every time I talk to her, she thanks me again. And now my friend Cindy just got one as well. And she said, Dawn, even after a couple nights of sleeping on it, she said, I am sleeping so much better. And I think sometimes we just chalk up poor sleep to I'm getting older, it's just a given, I wake up during the night. But that that might not be accurate. It actually could be your mattress and we all need a good night's sleep. You know, I mean, how do we get through the holidays and keep a good attitude and get all the things done? We have to get a good night's sleep. And so we are so grateful. I mean, Tom and I, it's been over two years since we've had ours and we will tell you, yes, 100%, we like our Helix mattress just as much as the first month that we got it. And so you too just might not know that you could be getting a much better night's sleep with a new mattress. And what we love about Helix is they make it so easy. You just go online to their website, you take their sleep quiz, you take it for yourself. And if there's anyone else that shares the bed with you, they take the quiz as well. And then they match you with your perfect mattress. So for us, it's the Helix Dusk Lux, and then you get a hundred nights to test it out. And so maybe it's time to get a Helix mattress for Christmas and it just try it yourself and they also have a 10-year warranty so it is the gift that keeps on giving and so shipping is included in the u.s it gets delivered right to your door so convenient it's rolled up you just unroll it it takes shape and then you get a really great night's sleep and so we're going to put our link down below you can save up to 200 dollars on your helix mattress and get two free pillows too and just start sleeping so good like tom and i like cindy like my grandma you could be sleeping so much better too okay um let's just go do a little more decorating so here's what's kind of funny. My mom will sometimes say, she's like, I should take pictures when I decorate for Christmas so I can remember the next year where I put everything. And I'm like, really mom, you can't remember where you put stuff? Well, I looked at some video of how I had the shelves decorated the bathroom and I'm like, I don't even remember half of that stuff. And I was like, oh, I'm starting to understand. So I actually pulled up the video from last year so that I could just kind of like recreate it and I didn't have to use too much mental energy um, to decorate. But I did get, the only thing new I have this year, I have this little like cake stand with the lid and I love it so much, I think it's so cute. So I wanted to work that in. And then I think otherwise, mostly everything's the same. My plant's in a white pot now, so it looks just a little bit different. But also if you'll remember that design tip we've talked about before, where anytime you're styling like shelves, bookshelves, if you have like built-ins next to your fireplace, 
or around a window or something like that, a TV, um, is that you wanna zigzag the color. And so that helps to make it feel like balanced. So that's what I had done last year with the red is I like zigzag the pops of red and that can just be a helpful way to know where to place stuff on your space. And so that's what I was um, doing here and then kind of zigzagging the other way with the neutral colors. So that's, that's kind of like my just loose guideline when I'm, when I'm doing this and it's been really helpful. Like I feel like in the past, cause you know how you like put stuff up and you're like, I don't know what it is, but it just doesn't feel right, <laughs> right? That this has been what's been really helpful to me is like to zigzag the color and you're like, and then you just like step back and you're like, oh, it just, it just feels right. It feels balanced. Like it just works, right? It makes it look like I, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> so that's been a helpful tip for me. So maybe it'll be helpful for you as well. Okay, so Tom just got home. So I'm gonna have him look at the sink and then we'll put up the Christmas tree. I'm guessing there's something stuck in the pea trap. I don't know. Okay. That's what we're gonna find out. All right, so what are you gonna do? I did put all of this in though, just FYI, in case anyone wanted. It's I, lovely. I did all of this. It's beautiful. Everything you see. Okay, so you, you can just I'm, unscrew I'm it. unscrewing the P-trap. Um, we're gonna have a ton of water come out because all of this is full. Yeah. Um, Probably food, food debris okay. is my guess. But you would think all food debris should eventually go down, but we'll see. Mm. It's not gonna be like a super, I don't know, well, at least I, I'm not imagining it's gonna be a super gratifying process. Mm -hmm. So now I'm just gonna let it drain. They actually make P-traps with a little plug on the bottom of them that you can unscrew the plug and it'll drain. Oh, fancy. Um, <laughs> I didn't put those in. Okay. <laughs> I don't have the slightest clue. All right, so the P-trap's not plugged. Mm -hmm. All right, well, just as I suspected, there's nothing up there. Is it coming out the sink, Corbin? Can you see it? Nope. They must have made this bend then, so there's nothing that way. That should just be a straight shot to the basement. Well, that's discouraging because... I mean, would you expect it to, if something was going to plug up, to plug up in the P-trap or not necessarily? 100%. Oh, okay. Honestly, when Tom came in with the air compressor, what I imagined happening was like something on home improvement where you have like a geyser out <laughs> like the other side of the sink or something. I, I honestly did not think it was going to work or go well, but that seemed to do the trick. So that is, that air compressor is one of Tom's favorite things and it's on his list for recommended guy Christmas gift ideas. So I'll put a link to my Amazon store down below. I've been trying to curate a collection of gifts that we really like and we really like giving. <laughs> it just drained. <laughs> Milwaukee to the rescue again. Does that actually work? <laughs> I just put air pressure down the pipe. <laughs> Alright, turn some water on. Let's do it on this side so I can see it. <laughs> Not just for inflating tires. Good to go. <laughs> what do you think it was? Just built up gunk and stuff? I don't know, but... My $100 Milwaukee air compressor I bought three years ago did the trick. This is on our uh, your gift list, our gift list. Dude, our... This, is, this, this air pump is amazing. This thing on this tiny little battery can air up a semi-tire from dead flat on one battery. Wow. It can air up pickup tires. It's never let me down. I mean, this thing, I, uh, any trip we go on, I take it. If I'm driving more than 30 minutes from home, I toss it in the truck because it... I love this little air compressor. <laughs> um, I don't know what happened. I just know that whatever happened, we just pushed it down into the septic system. <laughs> Thank you. And there's also something I've learned over the years as I want to go more minimal with our decorations, but I still want our house to feel festive. Like I want it to feel like Christmas in our house. And something that I've learned is that by adding pops of red, it makes it feel really festive without having a lot of decor or a lot of things. And so I especially love my red tablecloth from my grandma that I like to put on the table. Um, I'm adding like a red hand towel here in the bathroom, a red soap dispenser. We'll head into the living room in a minute. We'll add some red in there too. But I really feel like these big blocks of red make it feel very festive with still not, I mean, you saw all my stuff fits into one bin, <laughs> right? The only problem, 
I can't find my grandma's red tablecloth right now and I have no idea. I have searched the whole house. I have looked through every bin, every closet, under every bed and I just cannot think of where it could be. I sometimes pull it out, you know, just to use as like to talk about or give it as an example. And so I don't know if it just got put back somewhere that I like it shouldn't have been. Normally it's in my Christmas bin um, and so I, I am just, I'm feeling a little frustrated. So I'll show some, I'll, I'll show what it looks like in our dining room when that's on there. Um, but I just have to keep looking because I just really can't think of where it would be. Or, I mean, I don't think, I don't normally lend it out. Like I went to lend it to my mom or Diana. So like it has to be here somewhere. I'm just, I'm so confused. This doesn't really happen anymore <laughs> now that our house is so simplified. Like I really don't lose stuff very often anymore. So, so I guess we'll just keep, decorating. Let's go do the living room because um, I have my new green pillows and we're gonna add a little red and we'll see how that looks for Christmas too. All right, I'm gonna have to kick Maggie off the couch here. She is knitting something. We're not gonna show it because it's for a friend, right? Yeah. She's knitting a Christmas present. So um, can I displace you for a few minutes so we can put our Christmas decor in here and see how it looks? Sure. Okay, will you help me? Maybe. Pretty please? Maybe. <laughs> Well, this room is kind of bothering me. Um, but like I said in the like things I'm not buying this holiday season, I don't want to buy any new home decor. Like I really would like something different, like a different kind of placemat or something to put on this table. I don't love like how the blankets and pillow situation is working out, but I'm just using what I have this year. I might go over to my mom's house and see if she has something different for that table. But other than that, like we're just using what we have. It's such a short season anyways, right? I mean, next year we'll be here before we even know it. So I'm like, I'm just gonna work with what I have, make it work for this year, and it'll be fine. It never actually, like very often, it doesn't look like this anyways, <laughs> right? So it's fine, it'll be totally fine. So we have an artificial Christmas tree. We've had it for, well, since the girls were literal, so I don't know. 10 years probably. It's a pre-lit tree. The lights stop working after the first year. Does anyone's pre-lit tree like keep working year after year? I don't know. I'd be curious to know. But one of my favorite tips when you put up a fake Christmas tree is that when you go to like fluff the branches and make them look more realistic is to wear kitchen gloves and this protects your hands from getting all dried out and scratched up from touching the branches. So this works great. The only thing that's kind of funny, um, I don't know if it'll show up. The gloves are like really dirty now. Apparently the tree is really dirty after being 10 years old. I don't know, I would have never known that, I guess, if we hadn't done this. And then we also add a strand of twinkle lights, so it gives it like a little bit of sparkle. But I also want to mention, if you want to downsize your Christmas decor and you have a lot of sentimental stuff, I think something that can be really helpful is to have one bin dedicated to sentimental stuff. Because a lot of times we have stuff, we don't even necessarily put it out anymore, but we just keep it because it's special. And so I think it can be nice for it to have its own container so we know where it is, we know it's protected, it's not getting broken, it's not just mixed in with the other stuff. But then we also use the container concept and that's our limit to how much that we keep. And so we only keep as much special Christmas decor as fits in the, that bin and then that's it. And so I think that can be a really helpful tactic too. If you're like, I want to downsize my holiday decor, but I just have all these like super special pieces. Often we look at it all and we're like, it's all super special. But when we actually go through the process of deciding what goes in the special bin, we start to realize that it's not all the same. And I think you'll find too that you'll be able to to simplify it more easily. All right, I've actually been simplifying the shelves even more and then I swapped out the sign that was on there too. It just felt a little too much. So I moved the fern into the bathroom off of there. Still have the red zigzag going. It just feels a little bit better. But what I really wanted to mention, uh, an update on selling our Easy Awesome Bundt Cake recipe book for Dorothy's house to be able to build a well for them. So again, the cost of the well is $37,000. Our current total of how much we have raised is $31,553. So we are getting very close to being able to provide a well for Dorothy's house. Again, it's a ministry down in Mexico. We got to visit them when we went on a mission trip down there earlier this year. So they didn't have a well and Dorothy shared about how it just makes life harder for them. And so um, it's so fun that uh, really their Christmas present is going to be a brand new well and so we're so excited. So if you want to buy the Easy Awesome Bundt Cake recipe book or just make a donation, we'll put that link down below. It's $5. If you want to add in a little bit more, you can, but 
thank you. All those $5 are totally adding up and it's gonna make such a huge difference for Dorothy, but also the women and children that she helps down there. So, so exciting and thank you. It wasn't us that did it, right? It was you sharing what you have and so, you're just the coolest. Like when we when we knew how much we needed to raise and everything, I'm like, well, I think we should be able to do that. Like, you know, but you just never know for sure. And so to see it all come in has just been so fun. And um, it'll just be super fun to see Dorothy's reaction as well. All right, but overall the sink is working again. The house is decorated, which feels nice. I just, like I said, if, if, with our pops of red, it really doesn't take a lot to make the house feel festive. Now I just have to figure out where that red tablecloth is. I have. No idea. I just have no idea where it could be. So we'll track it down. Um, it has to be around here <laughs> somewhere. So we will track it down. I would love to know, have you decorated for Christmas yet? Do you wait till after Thanksgiving? So uh, let us know about that. Have you decluttered your Christmas stuff? It's always fun to hear that as well. Like, where are you on the meter? <laughs> are you sneaking in, Corbin? <laughs> you can come say hi if you want to. You just got some new winter hats. Is this the hat you're gonna wear when you're down at the shop with grandpa so everyone yeah. can see you? <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right, well, we love you. We hope that you have a really great weekend and we'll see you again soon. Bye.